Welcome to another vlog. Had a little bit of a mishap. There was a loud boom, like thunder, at 4 o'clock in the morning. It was so loud, it basically woke up all of us. My daughter, <laughs> I knew right away she's gonna come in our room, and she did, so she ended up sleeping with us. It was like really, really loud. I was asleep, and that thing woke me up. You know, just like a one hit wonder. And it just started pouring. Yeah, I was doing the coffee this morning and turned the power just went out. Well, because we have solar panels, it's still, there's still energy going, electricity. So I was able to make my morning latte. Thank the Lord. I don't need them honestly, cause I got you. Everybody else makes me feel small. Latte number two, we got some cute heart latte art. I don't know if you guys can see, I just don't want to tilt it over. But sometimes by the time I'm doing everything that I need to do in the morning, my morning latte is already cold and I don't like drinking cold latte, so I'll just dump it and make a new one, although I did finish that one almost all the way. Our morning is pretty much over. It's already 11 o'clock, it's almost lunchtime, but got a little bit of a later start to the day. Yesterday was Super Bowl Sunday, so we stayed up kind of late watching the Super Bowl. It's kind of how our mornings are. Some mornings are different, but they're like different but the same. You know what I'm saying? Like little things might change here and there, but for the most part, it's Monday, it's a school day, so that means homeschool. Took their DVDs down, they started on that. For the most part, I would say our days are kind of like the kids will wake up, they love to play, and then we'll do a breakfast, they start school, and that's kind of how our mornings go for the most part. Time frame wise, it's always different and things might change. By the way, our power is back. Not sure what happened, but the the power just like went out for a lot of the a lot of the campers here. But my husband went and reset it and um, yeah, it's back. It works, it's good. It's like the second time I think this has happened. But we do have solar panels. So blah, blah, blah. we do have solar panels up top that my husband installed when we were traveling. They're so helpful because a lot of times if you're in a sunny area there have been days where we ran off of just that instead of using a hookup to electric so definitely a good investment one thing that i really love about homeschool because i've definitely struggled adjusting to it ever since i had my i was pregnant with my first when i was in my last year of going for my bachelor's in accounting no no it wasn't my last because i was pregnant i was in school i had her and then I had one more year to go to finish up, or one more semester, I believe. And I was gonna go for my master's, but then I just decided I don't think that's what I wanna do. But ever since I had a Viana, I've had like a part-time job and then another job, but nothing where I was like out of the house five days a week on a schedule type of situation. So ever since I had my kids, we kind of, I kind of just been more so I would say a stay-at-home mom. So this is why I started YouTube because it allowed me to do something from home, which I knew when I started it that you can potentially make money off of here. I definitely went went in with the intention that I can make a small side income. Like I never went in going to be a millionaire, but I knew that you can make a small side income doing this and sharing about things, random things, whatever it is. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but here we are. So even though I was kind of always a stay at home mom, it was definitely an adjustment for me, especially with homeschool because now I was more so at home than anything else. Even having kids, it is a huge adjustment to your lifestyle, but there are big perks to it as well. Like for example, our mornings are very casual and laid back and more flexible. Um, just everything in general about homeschool is a lot more flexible. I still try to keep a schedule because I feel like kids benefit off of schedule. I benefit off of schedule. So instead of like things being all over the place and chaotic, but it's definitely more laid back. Like my sister, she, 
has her own physical therapy business that she opened. She has to wake up in the morning, make them breakfast, they eat quick because we stay with them in the summertime drop them off at school just to pack them lunches the night before pick them up and then they have like their violin lessons and other things that they do and they get home they have homework and then she has to do a lot of some stuff at home for work and it's just it's it's a lot i would say and i think a lot of people that's what their days look like when you work full time so to sit and watch somebody like me you know i have a much different lifestyle so i mean everybody that's one thing to keep in mind is that everyone has a different everybody's in like a diff, different season of life you know i feel like that's just life it ebbs and flows you have seasons all different kinds of seasons with all of that said this is like my morning chats morning monday morning chats i had some amazon packages come in that i wanted to share about i bought some things through the amazon beauty program that i'm part of i want to show you guys what i got okay guys let's do some amazon unboxing it looks worse than it actually is because they kind of package everything separately. One of the first things that I got was the Revive Essential Oil, the Purify Blend that I showed that I was adding to the diffuser and I actually really like that one. I wanted something to kind of purify the air. I've been using Revive Essential Oils back in our old house when they like first came out and I really love them. They're high quality oils. I'm not big on like oiling but I love using them for the diffuser for like making the house smell nice, purifying the air, things like that. I don't really use it for anything else. Sometimes I'll use like peppermint on my temples if I have a headache because I like the cooling effect but it goes away but it helps like in that moment so that's as far as I'll go but they're a really good brand you skip the MLM you don't have to deal with the whole MLM structure I am very much anti MLM so these are not MLM you can just buy direct through them they have a website and now they started carrying on Amazon as well so I thought that was really nice so I got the purify one and so far I like it I don't know if it helps purify the air but I just like how it smells I also picked up the new loving tan purist line they came out with so I got the foam and then the face serum right here I have tried loving tan in the past like their OG pink bottle because all the influencers were raving about it and I know some people are like die hard loving tan folks I'm not I tried it I gifted it to my sister she didn't like it either I don't know everybody likes something different so I didn't like the original but I saw that they came out with a new mousse like a cleaner one whatever that means and I thought whatever let me give it a try and see how I like it so I got dark the foam tanning foam I love to self tan I don't overdo it but just like a little bit of color I feel like it just I don't know I like it and then I got their face tanning serum and I used this last night and I like the consistency so it's not like tanning drops that you add to your lotion this you apply directly to your face as its own product it's like a really dark brown color and so far I do like it the thing with applying tanning foam to my face is it will cling to dry patches it sometimes settles into my pores and I don't know I'm always I don't I don't always love applying tanning foam to my face so what I would do is use the tanning drops and mix it in with a lotion and apply it like that but sometimes that breaks me out like the one that I use so I decided to give this a try and so far so good but I'll keep you guys posted so we're gonna try out the new loving tan purist lines next time I self tan I'll let you guys know about that all right these are some health and wellness goodies which I don't really like talking about that because it's so personal and I don't think that you need supplements unless there's a specific reason you're seeking them out but I picked up the Juna it says the Juna detox so what it is is chlorophyll with lemon and mint and it's supposed to help de bloat cleanse and digest I don't buy those claims the only thing that I bought it for is because somebody recommended using chlorophyll as like a natural deodorant I I'm giving aluminum free deodorants a try I love the Saltaire one so far. I got the Kopari one, but that one doesn't seem to be working well for me. And then somebody reached out and said, try chlorophyll. I sometimes don't even have to use deodorant because it just helps so much. So I read into it and decided, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. So I got some liquid chlorophyll here. Hopefully it's not nasty, it says lemon mint. And I mainly wanna try it for like, cause when I sweat, it's stinky it's not like super stinky but it's still like body odor stinky and then once it gets on my clothes that's it like it's game over no amount of deodorant will save i can't even like hug people because i'm like so self-conscious i'm like oh i hate that smell so i just want to give it a try and we're going to see and then i also got some protein because i wanted i needed a protein powder and i love the brand your super just personally i love them they're very like simple ingredients like there's no no fluff anything but even if you do get a pr protein powder that does have all these ingredients in it like pick one that you think is right for you but this one doesn't have a lot of protein it's just 10 grams of protein 
but it's um, rice protein, pea protein, maca, lacuma, and banana, and that's it. Very simple. So I like the brand, so I, that's just what I got. And to go with the tanning, I saw this and thought, let me give it a try. This is, I don't know what this brand is, never heard of it, SFX. It's the finishing powder, and it's meant for spray tans, and I got it as a bundle with this huge brush right here. And you basically apply it to areas where you feel stickiness after you get a spray tan, like the elbows, the knees, so that you can kind of go about your day. So my plan is to use this after I self tan, because sometimes certain formulas are a little bit stickier, and then it's just not comfortable sleeping at night because I apply it and sleep through the night in it at night. So I plan to use this powder and it says it has a tropical burst scent. Let me actually smell it. Ooh, it actually smells really nice. Huh, can't wait to use this. I'll let you guys know. So when I self tan, I'll include that in the vlog. <laughs> this is random, but I got men's Rogaine and I got men's because I feel like they pink label the women's one. They upcharge the women's one for no reason just because it's for women and they think they can get away with it. So I got the men's one and I was watching a dermatologist saying if you want to like grow out your eyebrows, she uses men's Rogaine on a spoolie. So I don't know. I'm going to give it a try and then uh, maybe I'll try it for myself. If you watch my stories, I post about sometimes like my workout that I do or things like that. So I posted that my ankle weights, the ones that I have, they're actually right here. I got these on Amazon. Do you see how there's some missing? So one of these fell off on this one. And I think I lost two here. And I reached out to the company and they were like, well, I'm sorry, we can't help you. Like go through Amazon and try to return it. And I'm like, I can't because I'm out of the return period. But once they unglue, you can't glue them back on. So these were crappy. So I decided to get these kinds. And I got them from the brand P-Volve. They are pretty solid and there's like, like good quality. They're not going to, you know, it's not this. Seems like they have like sand in them or something. I don't know. But these are definitely better quality. Than those. So if you're gonna get some ankle weights, yes, these look cute, they look aesthetic, these don't look as cute, but these are just gonna fall apart on you. So I would say get something like this that like there's really not much that can fall apart in here. So I needed I needed some new ankle weights. I needed some new ankle weights, so got that because I use them almost for every single workout. And the last thing, I think there's only one item in here, it could be wrong, but I have been looking into an LED mask and I watched a few like plastic surgeons on YouTube and their recommendations for things that are actually worth it for skincare anti-aging things of that nature and there are actual studies to support that you know red light therapy and things like that can be beneficial for skin anti-aging things like that if you look into it like do your own research don't listen to anything i say listen to the specialist so i was going to get an led mask but then i decided why not get an actual like one of these <laughs> so this is what i ended up getting i didn't get a brand name one but this brand best cool or whatever they are they make something similar to Huga. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Huga. They do red light therapy like lights and they're a pretty good brand and the good quality. So they kind of are the competitor cheaper version of that brand, Best Cool. And I saw that they make this. So I was like, okay, they seem like a trustworthy brand. It's not just like some Joe Schmo on Amazon. So I decided to pick up this instead because this way you can use it on your knees if you wanted to. You can use it on different body parts. You can use it on your hair, hairline. So I wanted to use it for like all of the above. So I was like, why am I going to get one just for the face when I can get one that I can use for almost like all parts of the body? So I want to incorporate this into, and this is an item that I picked up through the Amazon beauty program. If I didn't do Amazon beauty, I feel like this is something that I would have bought with my own money. It's just something that I would have to save up for because it is a little bit expensive, so I'm very blessed and lucky. I'm not gonna try it in today's video because I feel like I have to kind of get to know it. But I'll keep you guys posted on that as well. But that's something that I have been really wanting and have been eyeing for a while now and kind of doing my research on before I actually settled on this one here. So that's everything that I got on Amazon. I sent my husband to the store to go get some milk because we're all out of milk and I have to have milk in the house for my lattes and cappuccinos and my daughter Louise is, milk is like her one source of liquid. She eats, sleeps milk all the time. She loves milk but I did a weekend vlog for like Super Bowl doing some errands and stuff and I was gonna do 
a bunch of Super Bowl foods, but it didn't work out because our day took a complete turn. So today's Monday, it's the day after Super Bowl. So I have like chicken wings that I wanted to do and some jalapeno poppers that I never got to do. So I'm gonna put some chicken wings in the air fryer and we're gonna air fry some chicken wings. If you don't have an air fryer, I haven't had one for the longest time. I'm so late to the game. It's been like the best thing ever. I got a super cheap one for like $30 from Drew Barrymore's brand, Beautiful. She sells at Walmart, so you can go to your local Walmart and check it out. I got it online because the one at our local Walmart didn't have it in stock. And I'm telling you, it's just like the best thing ever. How beautiful are these hydrangeas that I picked up at Walmart? They have so many flowers right now, and I thought $10, I'm not sure how well they're gonna do, but I'm gonna give them a try because they're just so pretty. But I'm gonna add some of this chlorophyll to my, I have like electrolyte water here. Well, there's almost like nothing left, so I gotta fill it up again. Let me smell it. What if it like smells really bad? No, it has like a minty smell, which is so weird because it like makes your water green. All right, let me just, Ah, no. It's not that bad. I use a recipe online, and not for the seasoning, but for how long to cook it for and what temperature. And it said 400 degrees, 8 minutes one side, flip it 8 minutes the other side. So 16 minutes total. And I think I might do a little bit more, just kind of crisp them up a little bit more at 400 degrees. But I'm telling you, air fryer is just the best thing ever and I got the little one this one's the Drew Barrymore beautiful the little one because we live in an RV so I don't have a lot of space but they do have a bigger one and I don't know it's beautiful too like it's it's not the best quality like it's not like stainless steel or anything but I don't know it does the job I can't complain okay this is crispy much crispier so I did another extra five minutes so instead of 16 it came out to like 21 so good if you don't have an air fryer you need you an air fryer. Don't wait like me. Anyway, I think I'm going to finish the vlog here. I don't want it to be too long, but just kind of wants to do a Monday Monday vlog. Hang out with me, chat a little bit, show you what I got on Amazon. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. I want to also do another vlog, kind of doing some Valentine's Day stuff with the kids. I want to do cake pops with them. I bought some stuff to do cake pops and make some chocolate covered strawberries. So I'll probably do that tomorrow or the day after. But thank you guys for hanging out, and I hope to, guys, I hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.